an assessment of the next steps in the Greek bailout. We're joined by Gregory Pappas. He's publisher of the Pappas Post, an internet news source on Greek culture and politics. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Elaine. You know, this deal still has to get through Greece's parliament. So how does the prime minister get that support when it appears to some that he's playing both sides, telling Greeks one thing and then finally accepting this bailout deal? Well, I, I think this prime minister was put up against the wall. I'm not sure he's intentionally telling both sides different things. Uh, and the way he does it now is through consensus. Um, I think some of the opposition parties have come out already uh, and publicly supported his efforts. Uh, I think most Greeks want to keep Greece in the Eurozone. And uh, yes, he is having some problems. I just got a tweet tonight from somebody that I follow that the president of the parliament, uh, who's part of the left platform, is actually preventing some of these critical bills from even being entertained on the floor. So it's ironic that the mutiny is coming from his own party. Uh, but it's through consensus and through telling the truth and being honest and letting the people know that if we want Greece in the 21st century, uh, some hard choices have to be made. You know, this deal doesn't have the support of the people there. Greeks voted that way in the referendum last week. So what happens inside the country now? Well, there's, there's a lot of anger inside the country. And it's interesting that it took this deal, this 17-hour-long meeting and this so-called deal that came out of it, um, to unite the Greek people. There are a lot of people who were on opposing sides during the referendum who are now coming out uh, as Greeks and are uniting behind their country. Of course, they're venting a lot of their anger at Germany and at the Northern Europeans for what they see as a very heavy hand for the loss of Greek sovereignty, if you will. Uh, so um, I think a lot of Greeks are uniting. Uh, again, 60% uh, of the people voted no in the referendum, but of those 60%, a very large percentage of these people want to stay in Europe. Do you think a bailout is the way forward for Greece? Some see this as a temporary fix. Uh, what is the answer here? Listen, if we want Greece to be part of the European economy and the global economy, um, uh, yes, a bailout was necessary. But um, I, I was very, very opposed. And I actually went a little crazy yesterday on my personal Facebook page about the way this was handled. Um, I think Germany um, really came down hard on Greece. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not an apologist for Greece. Uh, my parents came from the country. They emigrated here because Greece couldn't take care of them 50 years ago. Uh, and, and Greece is a country with a lot of problems. That said, the way that Germany is trying to discipline Greece is, in my opinion, not the way to help a country get its footing. What you're seeing now is the rise of a lot of radical elements in the country. Uh, it's interesting because what we saw in the 1930s in Germany, when the economy was being strangled, was the rise of the Nazis. It's interesting that um, the ex-finance minister, Yanis Varoufakis, said in an Australian interview this morning that he looks to the right of himself sitting in parliament and he sees 10 Nazis in parliament. Well, this is going to continue to happen. As people get hungry, people get angry. You're going to see the rise of both extremes uh, uh, on the left and on the right. And I'm wondering if this is partly what Germany intended all along. We saw a massive Twitter campaign yesterday. Uh, the hashtag, this is a coup, uh, was trending number one globally because people saw an outright attempt to topple a government, to topple a democratically elected government in Greece, uh, which is, in my opinion, effectively what the, the, the Germans want. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm neither a leftist nor a rightist. I'm pretty much a centrist when it comes to politics. But um, I, I think that the Europeans are scared to death to have a leftist, a radical leftist party operating um, in their bloc. So, there's so much happening here. I, 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 I don't even remember the original question, Elaine, and I apologize for going off on my tangent because this is a very emotional issue for me. I have family in Greece. I, I have property in Greece. I care about the country, uh, as do millions of diaspora Greeks who live in 30, 40 countries around the world, including 2 million here in the United States. And we'll have to see what happens on Wednesday. Gregory Pappas, thank you so much for joining us from Pittsburgh. Thank you, Elaine.